Hello everyone, I'm the Honorary Art Teacher and today we are going to learn how to critique art. We will touch on why it's important, the four steps to art criticism, and critique a piece of art together. So you might be wondering, what is art criticism? Art criticism is about judging a piece of art. It helps us learn about artwork on deeper levels. Art criticism is important because we understand more about art, the artists, and can voice our opinion. Yes, you heard right. Your opinion matters when it comes to judging art. Let's go ahead and talk about the four steps of art criticism. Step one is describe. This means we will list what we see. For example, the colors used, what objects do we see, or the type of art. The second step is analyze. We will examine the piece to see what elements of art or principles of design were used. For example, line, color, contrast, or rhythm. The third step is interpret. This means we will discover the meaning behind the art. We can also come up with our own meaning too. Step four is judgment. This step is easy. All we do is say whether we like the piece or not. Before we begin our art critique, let me give you some information about the art. This is a mixed media piece that started with a traditional pencil drawing and was enhanced digitally. This artwork is called Migration by Jin Han, otherwise famously known as Genie Art on Instagram. It was created in 2019. Let's jump into our art critique now. For step one, I'm going to describe or list what I can see. For starters, I see several whales flying above a city. The moon is out, so it must be close to nighttime. There's also a girl on a balcony watching the whales. Let's move on to step two, analyze. Here we will examine artistic trends or the tools used to create art. Linear perspective is used because the girl is closest to us, so we can see her details better. The further back we go in the picture plane, the whales begin to fade and look like fish shapes. We can't make out any of their details at all. There's also movement implied because the whales look like they're flying through the piece. Also, as an extra, Fibonacci spiral fits into the piece. Some artists use this to lay out different focus points throughout their work. Isn't that neat how the whales fall on the spiral? On to step three, interpret. Let's find the meaning of the art. I feel like Chinny wanted to portray an emotion like awe or fascination. After researching, Chinny just wanted to make a calming piece. I think she did just that. For our fourth and final step, let's judge or form an opinion. Do I like this piece? Yeah, for sure. I love the colors and composition or layout of the piece. It brings a sense of peace to look at. Chinny was successful with her artwork. That's gonna be the end of our art critique. If you have anything to add or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more art. Hope to see you all for my next art class.